Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, you're back. You see me grinning? <laughs> this is probably the best post ever. Um, we are here, and it's actually Saturday. And those of you that come to the salon know that I don't work on Saturdays. So this person must be special <laughs> for me to be in here on my off day. Um, but they are, and I'll let her tell you who she is. What man? What is your relation to uh, Raymond Torregano the third? First of all, my name is Imelda Torregano. Oh, okie dokie. Let's turn her around. And I'm Raymond Torregano the third's mother, oh. who is the owner of Rhythm. Oh, okay. Look at she get our voice on. Raymond. <laughs> Salon. Hey, what? A Raymond what? A Raymond Torregano. So oh, ladies and gentlemen, this so this post is going to be called the number one client. But we have to give y'all some history on how she was also the most skeptical. And oh, oh, she don't want me to talk about that. That's right. Oh, let's talk about it. let's talk about how I was doing all of the hot girls in the city. I was like that dude for a couple years, but my mama. Would not let me do her hair. Or was was like, can you sure? Are you sure you can do that? So let's talk about that. Why why didn't you trust me at the very beginning, uh, mother? Why didn't I trust you? Yes, yes. Well, it's like this. <laughs> By the way, she still does her own relaxer, and she still does her own color. So I can't even take credit for this funky copper she got going on right here. But go ahead, because you know my feelings for her. Well, you know, you know, he was in school and everything, you know. Right, right. This is uh, like what? Now? Southeastern. Southeastern. Big shout out to Southeastern. And, you know. Uh, By the way, uh, Ebony, uh, the makeup maven, uh, is on the camera today because <laughs> she's another one that's tried to accost me and make me do hair on my off days. It's just ridiculous. But, you know, I'll just make her come and paint a face for me when she's off herself. So we'll be even. Got you, got you. Okay, go ahead. So I was in school. So he was in school, you know, being new, you know, I just had to give him some time so he can get experience, you know. <laughs> but you're supposed to be the number one guinea pig. You're supposed to let me mess up. Oh. Oh, okay, what you said, I didn't get that memo. Oh, hmm. No, I didn't get that memo. Didn't get that one. <laughs> no, I didn't get that one. So, didn't get that so memo. as he was progressing in school, you okay, know. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, he but, um, he worked at several different places after he graduated. Okay. And um, so he would call me and ask me to come. And then it was time when I'm. You can say it right. Beg. Yeah. To come. It was time when he begged me to come. Yes. After I got off from work. And here's the ticket to all you hairdressers. I mean, don't out get there. me wrong. Okay. It, it, was, it was good knowing right. that I can get my hair fixed. For free. For free. <laughs> <laughs> but. It was just at the time when he was asking. I just wasn't ready to make that move and leave the house. But anyway, I let That's him. Ebony's ghetto fabulous phone. <laughs> Keep filming. So I let him, you know, I decided to go in that room. And, um, be, I, I was his first customer, guinea pig, as, as he was saying. That's our ghetto fabulous phone. Keep and, on talking. And um, he did well, you know. And yes, I was very skeptical about him cutting my hair, getting in my head. Now, fast forward to today. Now, you actually oh, live in Montgomery, Alabama. Now, I am. Now, you actually I have tried. resided in Montgomery, Alabama. So, within the past 10 years, 12 years, he has successfully showed me that he is well, oh, well oh, oh, no, experienced. No, no. Oh, still getting it done for free. Uh, well yeah. experienced uh, yeah. uh -huh. and very successful. So what are some highlights, ma'am, if you can remember, uh, along this career? Because she's been at every hair show, every award. She's got all of the newspaper clippings, and she handles the money at Rhythm on the Runway, and all of that. And she saw the salon when it was not this pretty. It was ugly yellow walls. What are some highlights, ma'am? Give us some highlights along this Nice. Well, I mean, it is. It was very exciting to know when he um, he moved on and got his own shop, and and then he went into production, you know. And it was just, it was just amazing, you know. I I just enjoyed the ride myself, just being, just being one of his best friends. That's what's up. 
And that's not that's, that's the truth. That's actually the truth. And She's just knowing that he has the kind of personality that's just going to go far, far. And everybody loved working with him, you know. Uh, I remember, I'm just going to say this, and we're going to cut this short. No, we got more to talk about, but we'll cut your part short. Go ahead. When Go. He, he made his 30th birthday, that was uh, almost three years ago. That was about me. And that was a Were you at that party, Ebony? No, I didn't make that. Oh, happen. man. And that was my really first time to see the warmth and the love that people ex ex said or that shared. Good, that was good, man. And uh, it's, I was just overwhelmed. I didn't know people care that for him like that. Aww. So I really enjoyed that birthday. That was very special for him as well as for me just to see the love that uh, people Yeah, folks, we party with our mamas, man. She mm -hmm. had a drink in her hand. Oh, she yes. was sweating it out. She right. was bug jumping, second line, and it went down. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a good time. We have a good time. You know, he respect me as, my, as his mother. And I respect him as So it sounds like you got a little accent, lady. Where you from? Oh, I'm from New Orleans. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. What's here? What's I'm here? The Big Easy. The Big Easy. Lower and night. Everything go down. Everything go down. Everything go down. Everything go down. So let's talk about those days. How did you... Was, was, what, what, how was I as a child? You know what I'm saying? Was I in the hair as a child? No. <laughs> no, he was not. He was not. Not even close. He was autistic, but he was with... The, the pencil drawing, very talented uh, drawing. He, you know, never took art in school or nothing like that. It just was a gift. Well, when I got older now, I went to art classes in high school. But, it, but, but you learned a lot on your own. I did. I did. Yeah. And uh, so I, I want to share this with you all. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I was very... I guess surprised that he went into the direction. Yeah, what? Is, well, how was you feeling when I said, "Hey, mom, I'm not going to school hair. for education, and I know I'm a jock basketball player, and, and but I want to do hair." He's very creative, and I thought he was going to go in the direction go over. of architect. And he, for some reason, he shocked me. <laughs> I shocked and went into the area of cosmetology. You know, sometimes we just can't choose what we want for our children. They have to make their own decisions. Is there any mothers out there watching? I said this at an award ceremony last year. What, how much time we got, Ebony? Uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. I said this at an award show last year. I, one of the main people I think was my mother because my brother is a musician. He's into fashion. He's into photography too. And there are a lot of mothers out there with women every day. And they don't consider some of these things that we're doing a job, especially when we come to our parents at 17 and 18 and say, look, we're going to do these things that require, that are not nine to five jobs. And, you know, they were like, yo, she was in particular, go, do it, try it, be great at it. And a lot of parents don't do that. Ebony, can you agree being a makeup artist? I agree. Everybody doesn't do that. Your friends and family look at you like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And then you turn around and do big things, and they look like, I had a family member just recently, I ain't going to name them, but they were like, I didn't know. I didn't know it was this big. And you're like, so support your kids. Support the arts, you know what I mean? Because I tell everybody every day, it's not so much about cosmetology and makeup as it is. I was a weird art kid and that can translate to so, so many things. Fashion design, makeup, hair. Oh my goodness. Just a, a tattoo artist. I have a cousin who's a tattoo artist. It could be all these different things. So that's very much appreciative. Okay. Well, we are finishing up. What, what, what kind of time we got on there? Uh, about nine minutes down to the last about 45 seconds. 45 seconds. So we're going to wrap it up. For those that are asking, my mother is also, I love curling her hair because I don't do a lot of short girls as often. And she's a short girl. So she comes. <laughs> whoop whoop, short girls. Whoop whoop to the short hair, man. I do a lot of blowing and pressing. But we're going to sign off and me and my mom. Aww. Kisses. No kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You got to stop it at the end.